Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Steel of Sanctuary podcast. I'm your host, David Burrow from SteelerSanctuary.com, and this is my co-host, David Corum. What's going on, Dave? What's up? What's up? All right, we got a little bit of news heading into this, uh, coming out of this bye week, I should say. Um, we found out today that Steelers Bengals game has been flexed from eight o'clock to four twenty. Uh, state of the Steelers right now. Nobody wants to see them play. <laughs> yeah, I think Steelers is, uh, fans barely want to see the Steelers play. Even my national audience. Honestly, though, I think a lot of people will be happy it got flexed because now they can watch the whole game and not like lose, you know, four hours of sleep. It certainly but works. It for is the a podcast. sign of the times, right? But it is a sign of the times right now with the Steelers. It's kind of yeah. sad, but. I was just talking with somebody on Twitter. They're like, dude, the Steelers have one of the biggest national audiences in football. I'm like, yeah, great. But everybody else doesn't want to watch this team play. It's just that simple. They're right. boring. They don't score any points. Two and six. This is literally this is- no more than 13, 14. Yeah. yeah. But the most they've scored is what? If you don't count the defensive touchdown, 20 points is the most they've been oh. able to score in one game. And that's only happened once. So, yeah. Um, some interesting news today. Uh, Ryan Anderson got released, so that's good news for the TJ Watt hopes of uh, Steelers fans. It looks like it looks pretty good. Like he's going to be a goal this week after a long, long absence. Same with uh, Kazi too. I saw yeah. he said both will be a go. That's excellent news uh, against the Saints team. That let's be honest, is pretty bad. The Ravens kind of smacked them around a little bit. They're not a good football team. So no, they're not. This this should not be this should not be a hard game for the defense. I'll put it that well, way. Andy Dalton, <laughs> say no more, right? Red Rider, baby. Red <laughs> Rider. <laughs> All right, let's go over some of the injuries that Tomlin talked about today at his press conference. Miles Jack, Miles Jack has a knee. He hasn't practiced much. Uh, Christian Kuntz has a rib. Tomlin says he thinks he's going to play. Akila Witherspoon hamstring. Maybe that's why he's played so bad. Maybe he's not 100% recovered from his hamstring. It never has been. Yeah. Yep. Um, newly acquired William just... Jackson. What's that? No, go ahead. Go ahead. All right, sorry. I was just going to say that that yeah maybe maybe he tried and it went right back to not yeah. being that great i mean it, it, it would make more of a sense of why he's had such a drop off those um, soft tissue injuries are yeah. so goddamn tricky tricky man it, it just sucks it really does hamstrings in particular that's that's a tricky injury man um william jackson back kind of limited um seems like he's still gonna play it's something to keep an eye on though it's a little worrisome uh levi wallace Off the bat, dude. yeah he had that see he had that back injury with Washington, but we didn't know if it was just bullshit to get out of Washington or if he actually had a back injury. You know what I'm saying? Apparently it really was a back injury and it wasn't just uh, him trying to get out of there. We'll Whatever. See. I guess I, it was nice to right the rest of sixth. Yeah. Uh, Levi Wallace, shoulder, Larry Ogunjobi, knee, and Chris Boswell still with the groin. Uh, Tomlin gave us all, we'll let it, their participation be our guide phrase that he always gives so we're not going to know much we'll until we see more injury reports later on um could be another week without boss which is kind of scary Ogunjobi i like skiba did. though yeah I, skiba I, I like bad skiba, I, right. I think he's all right i think i think he's i mean his college career you know that, that was really good so yeah, he was excellent college, <laughs> has the right? record for being most most yeah accurate kicker i mean that's pretty good so uh and he did find that last game he came out to take his spot. So I, I'm, I'm okay with it. I mean, it sucks. I'd rather boss, of course, but you know, Hey, Hey, you could have a lot worse kickers come out there and kick for you. Yeah. I mean, out of all these guys, I'm hoping, um, obviously beside Watt and Casey, I, I really want to see Oga Joby come back fully healthy. Oh. Guy, he's huge for this defense. He is. Especially with, um, he is. Hayward struggling a little bit lately. Uh, Miles Jack too. I don't want to lose him. Oof, that would be really bad. If he misses any time, um, oh, they, dude, Miles Jack's out. Can you man. imagine? And they had to rely They're on Bush and Spillane. Up the middle. Woo! <laughs> no, that's bad news. That's freaking bad but, news. Hey, we finally get to see Robinson though. Yeah, that's true. That's true. But um, I'd rather see. Not, not saying that's a. Not saying that yeah. that's who I want to lose to see him. But you know, whatever. So I guess there's some buzz after this uh, Tomlin press conference about Jalen Warren and he's going to get more snaps and, you know, ponies out there saying he's going to get benched and, and Warren's going to start. 
Um, how do you read it? Um, I don't see, I don't see Tomlin reducing Najee's carries. I really don't. Do you? I think Tomlin's full of shit. Yeah. I don't believe it. I don't believe it for a second. Yeah. Look, Is he just appeasing the masses. I, that or playing mind games with fucking Saints. The Saints, yeah, like, that could be it too. I don't, I don't, dude. That's a first round draft pick. They ain't benching him. They, ain't, <laughs> they're not gonna go 50 50. It ain't fucking happening. It's not yeah. happening. Najee's still gonna look. I'll be shocked. Honestly, I'll be shocked. I mean, they're two and six, right? Yeah. So, like, maybe my man did watch the films, like, yeah. On that dump off with you had you know some space, you don't dance, go get the fucking first down. Maybe he's seen enough. I doubt it though. This is Mike Tom we're talking about. This guy's stubborn as fuck. He, he's not gonna, he's not gonna. I don't see him doing it. Yeah. We're I, sticking I with Matt Canada. If you're sticking with Matt Canada, I mean that's a great he's sticking point. with Najee. It's a great point. I, I'm just saying. It's it's a look, great point. The worst offense ever. Like, and you're still sticking with this guy. He's sticking with Najee. I, I don't give a fuck what he says. He's telling the shit, like you said, to appease the media or to play head games. It's not happening. And he didn't actually come out and say it. He said he's going to, you know, the stats speak for themselves and he's going to look into giving him more playing time. That doesn't mean Najee's going to get more Tom, More Tomlinisms, rinse, mm-hmm. repeat. Like, yeah, yeah dude, yeah. It, it's not happening. It, it, you, here, take it to the back. How about that? There we go. Take it to the back. Unless there's an injury we don't know about, he's not saying. And that's the way his kind of we've been, yeah. we've been down we, this road too. We've been down so, this road before too. Yeah. Oh man. I I just whatever. Like I, I don't buy it for a second. I'd be all for it. You know how I feel about Najee Harris. I'd be oh, all for absolutely. getting more snaps, but I, I just don't see it. Absolutely. That kid has looked ten times more explosive than Najee. Uh, and it, like like he said, I'm 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 north south man. I don't dance. I get the ball. I see an opening. I'm hitting it. Period. Yep. That's and this with this O line, yeah, if this O line, that's what they fucking need. Yeah, absolutely. We don't 100%. need nobody dancing back there, fucking off. You know, <laughs> we don't need it. Like, <laughs> no, gotta... it's just it's counterproductive because there's no, if there's a hole, it doesn't last long. So you need somebody who gets north and south fast with this offensive line yep. and hits the holes. Um, yeah, we'll see. Maybe Tomlin's feeling the heat, and he knows he's got a better player there. But like you, you and I both said, I'll believe when I see it because I'm not buying it. Um, you know, speaking of Mr. Filipponi, he had an interesting tweet today, yesterday, I believe it was. Every compa- day. Yeah, <laughs> most of his tweets are yeah. just stupid, but this one kind of got me thinking a little bit. He compared Mike Tomlin to Frank Reich. And oh, I saw this. That. I'm going to read it. The record? Um, yeah, the record. Since Frank Reich took over in Indianapolis, both coaches are 40, 33, and 1 exactly. That's pretty amazing. And Reich's 1-2 and two in the playoffs, and Tomlin's 0-2 in the playoffs. Frank Reich is without a job today. He's been fired. Mike Tomlin's still the head coach of the Pittsburgh Steelers and will be forever. Um, we'll, be, we'll be dead before he's done being the coach, probably. <laughs> yeah. Yep. That's glaring to me. Matt Canada's son will be the new offensive yeah, coordinator. Right. We'll, we'll see that in our lifetime, probably. It gets me to, is it time to start questioning Mike Tomlin? Is it time yes. to start questioning whether he should be the head coach of the Pittsburgh Steelers anymore? I say yes. I say it. Uh, this is, yeah. let's not, Mike counter somebody, you know, of course, Filipponi got blasted. Everyone came at him. But Mike counter to that is, yes, Mike Tomlin's been more successful over his entire career. But Frank Reich never had Ben Roethlisberger as his quarterback in Indianapolis. Those quarterbacks right. he's had over there have been, Trash, straight trash. Horrible. Yeah, um, Wentz. You know it, the list of bad quarterbacks just since Andrew Lippert Reset, retired. Wentz, Reset. Yeah. Ryan. Uh, it's been bad for a long time now. Ever since Andrew Luck left that fucking yeah. team, it's been horrible. So, yeah, I mean, give this guy Ben Roethlisberger in his prime. Oh my God, right. Like, or even at this later half of his career, Ben Roethlisberger is better the last two years than Wentz, than Matt right. Ryan. And then they, look Matt, what, look what this guy – I mean, what this guy did with the Eagles to win that Super Bowl was, was amazing. Yes. That was with a backup QB in the Super Bowl. Yes. Like, yeah. I, and after he left, Philly wasn't the same until they hired this new coach. 
Right. You know, um, who's the coach of the Jaguars now that was in Philly when they won a Super Bowl? He, he, he struggled when Reich left. The Eagles were bad. Wentz fell apart. Um, and then now it's got people um, uh, questioning whether the Steelers would ha- hire Frank Reich as the OC next year. I wouldn't mind it. I don't think it's going to happen, though, because Frank Reich, like I said in a tweet, he's not going to come here and have Mike Tomlin tell him how to run his offense. This guy's too accomplished I, I, for that. A defensive coach telling him how to run an offense? And, yeah, and offense? that's what's going to happen. Wow. Really? That's what's going to happen. Mike Tomlin's going to put, Ju- you know, clamps Ju- on Juju him. was talking more shit, too, basically. The other yeah, day. I saw that. Talking tweet. about how he had a defensive coach, you know, for five years. Like, finally getting around an offensive coach was – you know, really opened up his, you know, eyes like, holy crap, you know. And so I can't even, I can't even fathom, man, having someone of Reich's caliber coming in as an offensive coordinator for these guys. I couldn't, I couldn't even imagine. Yeah. It's the same argument. It the same argument we had about defensive coordinator this past year. He's not going to hire an accomplished guy. The um, Broncos head coach that got fired was a DC for the Bears for a while, and he's a real accomplished guy. And everyone's like, "Oh, we should get him as defensive coordinator." Tomlin's not going to take a guy like that because he can't tell a guy like that how to run his his system. No, you know those guys are not going to no. take that. They, you know these guys are accomplished. No. They're not going to say, "Okay, guys, Mike." They've built their reputation up enough where they're not going to take that shit. Nobody yeah. like any app. Like, yep you you plug them in, they're going to run this. You're going to shut the fuck up and color. Period. Yep. But nope. They, Dude, that's, that's the thing that we don't factor into this, too, is it's not just about the Roonies being cheap and not wanting to pay a premium for an offensive defensive coordinator. It's also about who's going to come in here and take orders from Mike Tom. Not your top-of-the-line offensive coordinators, defensive coordinators. None of those guys are going to do it. It's going to be a guy down the hall. Hey, want a promotion? Good, because we know you'll listen to Mike Tom and do what the fuck he says. That's what this is. That's what this is going to be for a long time. Until someone steps in, maybe Khan, maybe Weidel, maybe Rooney, maybe no one. But someone no one. needs to step in and yep. be like, bro, this dude's got to go. Let's go spend some money, go get a real offensive coordinator. What yep. I'm hoping is, is Andy Weidel is the guy that, that steps in and goes, look, hey, right here, can we please go get a real offensive coordinator? I'd really appreciate it. Uh, and as a connection. And hopefully talks him yeah. into it. Yeah, right. There's a, like there's a connection, right? There. They did work. So, so, so that question I asked, it, it, they did were together, correct? Yes, they were together a little while with Philly. Yeah, absolutely, bro. It's a no fucking brainer. If I'm Wido, I'm banging the goddamn table for him. Like, go, go, get me that guy right now. And he's gonna fix this offense. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I'd be all for it, but I just don't see it. I don't see Tomlin. Uh, Vic Fangio was the coach with um, the Broncos there that got fired. He, he's a real good defensive coordinator and. He's never coming here. And that's why Keith Butler lasted so long because he was a yes man and he he accepted being like a second fiddle. Like he let Tomlin call plays and didn't bitch and never even admitted it until he got fired. And he was here for how long? 10 years? And Matt Canada is, is, is the same way. I mean, he's not going to rock the boat because he doesn't have the, the leg to stand on. I mean. I think him and Mike Tomlin are best friends. <sighs> Bro, he, he, is he the one that, Got Mike Tomlin's son to Maryland? Am I? Did I, yeah, did I hear that right? I, I that did, right? I, he did. That was another. Now you think tweet. about <laughs> now. Now think about the politics involved in that. Yeah. You think Mike Tomlin's going to fire this guy after this guy got his son into Maryland? Man, mm. I don't like the nope. way. I don't like the way this is going. I don't like. I don't like how that he's hiring coaches. I don't like the direction this team's going in. Man, this is and starting to worry. The, and the double down of bringing in offensive line coach, wide receivers coach, all these guys that either worked with Canada have some kind of connection to Canada. They went all in with this. Yeah. I mean, in a perfect world, all that's in. what you want, but it's not a perfect world. Canada's terrible. So if he's bringing all his cronies with him, it's just making it worse. It, oh, well, that's what I'm saying. Like, like that's yeah. like, I don't even know what to say. Like it's, it's it's like you like punishment, basically. You <laughs> you enjoy it. So let's just double down on that some more. I, don't know. Well, I, I find myself I talking in circles because is it 
Mike Tomlin's putting it, putting like restrictions on Matt Canada. That's make, make, making Matt Canada so bad. Is he, you know, telling my, Matt Canada, keep it conservative, move the chains. I'll coach up the defense and we'll win games that way. And, and is this, you know, or is Matt Canada just this bad? Because as bad as he has never been this bad in his career. He, he did have a name before he got here. Not like, well, so you know, did you notice the comments they're making now that some other guys are going to have play calls in certain situations? Did you, yeah, did you hear that at all? What is going on? Yeah. What's going on with that too? How does that so, make things better? I, so I think they, they kind of took away some of the play calling from him, but they're not going to fire him because they don't want to make, you know, I, I think that they did take some of the play calling away from him and, but just didn't fire him just to, just to see if it does help and it, go from there. I, 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 I don't know. If you got to take play calling away from offensive coordinator, there's the side. Fire them. It's, it's yeah. over. Fire them. But I told you that's his best friend. They're great friends. Man. <laughs> he, he hooked up Tomlin's son. Tomlin's gonna hook him up. I don't like it. I don't like the way you think I'm like joking it. about the Canada's son. You wait, that motherfucker gonna show up next with a job. <laughs> I don't like the way this is going. It's this makes me nervous. I don't know. Like, I it's bad, but like you look, they they had their little meeting, they cleared the room, right? They aired out all their dirty laundry, they got rid of the distraction. I said quotations because some people reporting Claypool was a distraction or whatever. Uh not my words, that's other people's words. So people yeah. don't freak out. I'm not saying it. Other people inside that locker room made those comments. Yep. They so in theory, they traded away their their fucking problem, right? They cleared the air. And because they did, they figured some things out. Those are their words. There's things they didn't realize or didn't know that they figured out now. So in theory, they should come out and play better, better football. On offense. Do you, do you expect them to play better? Because I don't. On offense. Uh, on offense. I think the team will play better overall. I want to say back. He, here's why. I think they are. And, and this is why. Now you're going to have guys that teams don't get to scout as much playing in different, different spots. You're going to see uh, Muth getting the ball more in the slot. You're going to see him doing other things. You're going to see Sims now playing in the slot more. You got to go back to his commander's uh, tape if you want to see what he did there yeah. with them. So yeah. who's there's another one. I don't know if it's Boykin, who else they said might play in the slot. You're going to have different guys now filling in at Claypool's spot. Dude, I, I kind of think that maybe this, this might help. It might. Because Sims is a lot more dynamic. Sorry, it's it. A lot more dynamic than Claypool. In space, that guy is oh, yeah. fucking fast. 100%, 100% and, more. And that's, space than... that's the guy you need. You need that guy that's fucking quick out there. Because they don't really – it doesn't feel like they got it. They got guys with, with what? That are great route runners, right? Mm -hmm. But none of them are out there with 4-2 with speed or dynamic, you know, football fast. Sims is that guy. He really is. So I like the thought of him, and I like the thought of Muth getting the ball more. And yeah. Pickens is now the wide receiver too. So yeah. now the ball will be getting fed to him more. He's no longer, a, you know, a third wheel, if you will. So I I think they will do better. I really do. All you make great points, and, and I I agree with all of it. Um, for those guys to really succeed, though, they're going to have to throw the ball over the middle because that's where a guy like Sims is going to live in the slot, yes. in the middle. Yes, yes. If Muth is going to be – Muth's been pretty good. But if Freimuth's going to be better, where he's really going to win is down the middle. Yep. And if they're not going to throw the ball down the middle, then this is all this is all waste. I'm, I'm, so, well, I'm hoping that this is what this is about. This is about, okay, we're going to start throwing down the middle, get Muth up the seam, hit him. Let's have where, uh, Sims on those slants. It's like a dagger, man, like Antonio Brown, Ben to Antonio Brown. Those slants were yeah. Oh, amazing. I want to see it. I want to see it. Yeah, I, and I this think is where I think Tomlin's influence comes into play. I think he's telling Canada and the offense, don't throw the ball in the middle. Don't risk it. Keep it outside where it's safe. Don't turn the ball over and my defense will win. I, I would love, his... I would love for them to have Najee out passing downs, but 
on actual grinded out runs that they need, those short yardage runs, please, for the love of God, put fucking Warren in there. Get Jalen Warren more carries. I want him out there. Yeah, but I mean, if it's if it's a passing down and you want to have one of those plays, a run back goes out too, flares out, do a wheel route, whatever, go ahead, put, put Najee out there. But I think they really do need to consider, look, man, I'm not asking for 50-50. Like, I'm asking like 60-40. Give give you know, Jalen Warren like forty percent. You know the problem I think he's is, productive. Though, what? Warren's the best pass blocker out of both of them, so they want him out there on third down. True. Plays <laughs> if if you're if you're yeah if you want your if you're asking for your running back to pass protect, absolutely. I'm saying if your if your game plan on that play is to get the the running back out there in space to catch the ball, yeah. I would rather nod. Yeah. But unfortunately, though, he can't fucking dance around like he did last game. But I would think he has the better hands. I think he does than Jalen. I'm not 100 percent on that. Uh, it's close, yeah. He's definitely like better said, in space. Like, but either way, this this 80 20 of the carries has got to end. It's got to be like 60 40. Yeah, 100 uh, percent agree for me. Warren needs to be in there. Like I said, I'm not asking for 50 50, but the guy's got to be out there more. He's just more explosive right now. Whatever it is, Najee's going through. Get him out there. But I, I honestly, dude, I think that if they if they are going to do what I'm hoping they do, I do think this offense will be better. Do I think it'll be, like, astronomically better? No. But do I think combined with this defense back? Yeah. I think I think they can win some games. So I'm going to put my Steelers <laughs> glasses on. Oh, my God. Okay, you got your Steelers glasses on. What are you going to do now? What are, we, what are you going to tell me? And I'm going to predict that oh boy, this defense go. is going to come out on fire. And they are going to light these other teams' offenses up. And we're talking three to five turnovers almost every game. The offense is going to be good enough, and they're going to go seven and two or six and three. And that is my um, Steeler sunglasses <laughs> segment. <laughs> That's fucking great. Um, all right. We, we, we did it quick last week. Let's, let's get into it a little bit more. Let's look at the schedule the second half of the season. We've had another week to look one at second, the games. One, one, one second. One second. Yeah, put the okay. glasses all back right, on. Right. You're going to need it. Glasses are back on. Let's go. Saints at home coming right out of the bye. This has to be a win, right? This has to be a win. This Saints team stinks. Dude, this, this, did this you see stinks. that? You blitz, they are done. Yeah. Blitz the living shit out of them and bef- they are, before, did you see ahead. them doing quick outs they were yeah. doing so many quick outs because they had no time that o-line is garbage yeah michael like, thomas they got is no wide now. receivers yeah, michael thomas is done yeah. landry's not gonna these guys are oh they got alave you lock him down they're fucking toast yeah. stop kamara done Kamara's, and it's still Kamara's like, the they, key this sunday and we got kazi what ogan joey back baby it is on we are coming for that team. We win that game. Yes, it should be a win. Uh, let's preface this. We're assuming TJ Watts 100% healthy for the rest of the season. Coming Absolutely. out of the bye and going forward. Because if he gets hurt again, then it's over. He will so, not get hurt the rest of the season. Okay. Okay. I don't know if I'm going <laughs> to feel that comfortable you're predicting, given your NFL picks record. <laughs> we'll keep going. Um, hey, I did better this week. What the hell? I got I got to review the tape, see how we did. But uh-huh, um, uh-huh. Bengals at home the following week. At home? Yeah. They won in Cincinnati. Oh, we're, we're taking it, baby. Mm. We are going to go two and zero oh mm. against the Cincinnati Bengals. Mm. I say lost. Huh? We'll see. <laughs> Burrow um, is going to be scared shitless, running for his life. Oh, yeah. TJ Watt is going to feast. And the offense is going to do a little better this time. And we're going to win. Okay. Uh, next one. is going to be fucking rocking. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Next one, at Colts. That's, this team's a train wreck, man. They, they took some freaking analyst, Jeff Saturday. He hasn't had coached a game, been a head coach in a game since high school. And now he's going to be the head coach of the Colts. If they don't win this game, you know. The defense the is season. going to put the offense in position to put up their first 25 point game. They should. They Damn. absolutely should. 25 should... point game. Imagine being happy with 25 points. Like that's a big deal. 
this is where we're this at. This is where now. we're at now. This is where I'm, we're at. I'm okay with that. Oh, for the love of fuck. All right. I get a win there. We both got a win there. Um, right. At Falcons next, the following week. Tough game. At Falcons? Yeah, Falcons. I am going to say they lose that game. Yeah. I, well, yeah, they probably lose that game. All right. Week after that, at home against the Baltimore Ravens. Do they win, take baby. one against the Ravens? Yeah, we are win. taking one against the Ravens. Yeah, they might We're split. taking one I against I, the Ravens. I can see them splitting. We're taking the home game. We are taking the home game. Ugh. Lamar is going to be running all over the place for his life. We're going to feast, cause some <laughs> turnovers, put the offense in position to win. We are going to oh do it. Oh, my God. You've gone, you've gone full Yinzer on me. Like, full. We're going, baby. We got this. All right. Watts back. Kazi's back. Let's go. Uh, you're going to love this one. At Panthers, the week after that. That's oh, we another, are, we are another whooping that fire. ass. It is on. We got this. Who's going to quarterback? Sam Donald? Uh, uh, PJ Walker PJ is his name, I think. Walker yeah, or whatever. They're gonna, that it don't matter. Be. That should it be. don't matter. We're going to have William Jackson the third. We're going to have TJ. We're going to have Kazi, yeah. Ogan Joby. You name it. We are. We got them. They're going down. This is going to be a great new segment. Yins or Dave. We're going to have a lot of fun with this. Next week, another dumpster fire. <laughs> the Las Vegas Raiders. Whoop. Christmas Eve. Jesus, this team's horrible, man. What the hell is wrong with the Raiders? They got I, Devontae Adams, and they can't they can't do shit with him. Darren Waller's like non-existent. Yeah, like, now I don't look. I don't fire know. everyone. Yeah. Fire them all. Like, what what are you doing? What's the offensive coordinator doing there? What's the I head coach no doing idea. there? Like, bro, you went ahead and gave up to go get Devontae Adams. And you guys can't do shit. Who's who's the defensive coordinator? They're dog shit. But Josh McDaniels is not a good head coach. A, he's a good offensive coordinator. He's a great offensive coordinator. Oh, I, yeah, he's a dude. Shitty head coach. Horrible. Go go back. Look, go go back to Bill. Daddy will take care of you. It's okay. <laughs> it's he okay. Didn't hire, he didn't hire an offensive coordinator. He's waiting for Josh to come he, back. He that's how bad McDaniels is. Bill knows he'll be fired back. Yeah. Like that's that's how bad he is. It's hilarious. But uh, is, is that at or uh, – No, that's uh, home that's, game. That's a home oh, game. Oh, baby. The, uh, oh, baby. It is going to be ugly. We're going to take him downtown and it's absolutely the Franco game. wipe him the fuck out. Yeah, it's going to be great. It's Stairs a Franco win. Harris game. Stairs All win. right. Uh, following week at Ravens, you can put another pair of Yinzer glasses on. They're not winning this game in Baltimore. Right, I'm going to take them off for that one. That's a, that's a loss. <laughs> that's a loss. That's a loss. That's a loss. And then at home – to finish out the season against the Cleveland Browns. Deshaun Watson probably playing by then. This team in 2023 is going to be scary. Uh-huh. uh-huh. Dude, but not Browns after this game. Scary. After this game, he's going to need a deep tissue massage because he is going to get <laughs> he that knows ass a few people. whooped. Uh, yeah. He's he knows going to get that people. ass whooped. It's coming. Uh, TJ, the whole – dude, it's going to be amazing. We're going to shut down the run. They ain't going to be able to do nothing. And the Steelers are going to win that game. All right. So after looking at this, Yinzer Dave has them seven and two, which makes them nine and eight. Nine and eight, baby. Stamp it. It's coming. And do you know what nine and eight gets us? A middle Nothing. of the road draft but a, pick. But a worse draft pick. Yes. Uh, yes. Low 20s, high but teens draft pick. Baby, the streak stays alive. Oh my yes. God. I can still brag that my head coach. Still has never had a losing record. Cleveland Browns fans can suck it. <laughs> Worst. And that is the case. end of Yinz or Dave. Sick. Worst case scenario. The Just worst good case. We're not an eight. We got a winning record. Nine it's amazing. Eight. eight and nine is the worst case scenario because it's not good enough to make the playoffs. And but it is good enough to really crush a draft pick to the point where. Uh, it's nope. going to happen. We talked it's, about it last week. I'm look, it's it. it's look. You, you got to understand. It's streak or nothing, Dave. Okay, it's streak or nothing. All right, that's all that matters anymore. That's I look. Th- my whole season. This is what I'm here for now. I am here to see the streak stay alive. That's all that matters anymore. I don't want because I'll give you another one. Not only does it ruin the draft pick and keep them out of the playoffs, 
But it also makes it even more likely that everyone's back next year. Matt Canada's back next year. Mike Tomlin's definitely back. We know that. And the whole gang's back again for another miserable oh, we're, 2023. We're, we're running it back, bro. Oh, we're yeah. bringing the whole Canada Dude. family tree in to help with that. Fucking offense. They go eight and nine, nine and eight. Matt Canada's back. And we're all swinging from the fucking bridges by midway through 2023. I'm telling yeah. you. Yeah. People are jumping off the Fort Pitt Bridge. <laughs> I'm telling you. Take a ticket. Get in line. Yeah. <laughs> it reminds me of the... Uh, the thing where he's got the rope runs back and he goes, first time. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. I mean, it's, it's, it's like destiny. It's going to happen. This, this second half of this schedule is a, a cakewalk. It's so history bad. repeat. History repeats itself. It'll be 2013 all over. You watch, you watch. Uh, if, the only way this – honestly, the only way I don't think this happens is if they lose this first game with Saints. Yeah, it's if a big they lose game the Saints, week, right? then, it's, then it's over. Like, it's officially – you know this team is not going to roar back. If you can't beat the Saints with your defense at 100%, it's over. And say by some miracle, 98 gets you the last wild card spot. Do you there really you go. I was, I was waiting for it. Do you really want to see this team go to Kansas City and get their asses handed to them, or Buffalo, or Cincinnati? No. Teams, teams have teams have done it before, Dave. They've went eight and eight, and they've made a run all the way to the Super Bowl. It can happen. Yeah. Teams yeah. can get hot. Yeah, teams with Troy Polamalu and Ben Roethlisberger, not this, not this group, not this group. I, I'm just saying. I'll give you another streak they're going to keep alive: forty <laughs> points a game in the playoffs. Given up. That's another one they're going to give up. <laughs> You want no. to see talk about streaks. Why would you think that? You act like this has happened a lot before. <laughs> oh, God. I, I tried. I tried so hard, Dave. Tried so hard to be positive <laughs> this season. I'm trying to turn over a new leaf. I really did. And all the same shit's happening. It's all. I'm done with Tomlin. I'm done with Canada. I want him to fire everybody. I do. It's, it's, <laughs> You're ready. You're ready. Fire sale. Fire I'm so, everyone. I'm so it, internally conflicted. I want them to lose. I want them to win. I want them to lose. I want them to win. Because I know if they win and rattle off some games, it's going to justify bringing everybody back. And it's just going to be fucking miserable again. Yeah. Because you're not going to change the coordinator. You're not going to change the quarterback. You're not going to, you're not going to get a top offensive line prospect because it's a weak offensive line draft to begin with so if you're drafting in the 20s you're not going to get anybody i'm telling you mike tomlin is all in to win this second half he wants to prove that his defense he is going to want to prove his defense was injured and it injuries killed them and now they're 100 percent look out he's even going to be more stubborn for Matt Canada to prove that his offense can be successful and that Mike Tomlin was smart for making employing this man. Um, they're gonna, they're gone. They're coming and they're gonna go all out. I'll tell you what, in fact, the whole Jalen Warren thing will be the biggest indicator. If he's going 50-50 with him, my man's serious. Like he's <laughs> he is, he's real serious. He's he's yeah. really trying to win. Think yeah. about it. Like, like yeah. if you don't, if you don't, if you know the season's over, right? Why the hell would you care? Like, yeah. no, Tom. I'm going to run Najee out there, first round draft pick. But if you're going to go and and put that undrafted free agent acquired guy out there more than your first round draft pick, okay, it's serious. You are trying to win because that's your best option. Man, I tweeted it when they drafted uh, Kenny Pickett. It's going to be nine and eight forever, man. This is it. This is, so, this is nine and eight forever. So you so you think people are going to be fired up? What if they smash the Saints? What if they absolutely obliterate them? Stiller country is going to be going absolutely insane. They're back. It's the team from week one against the Bengals with TJ. We are going to absolutely make a run. You wait. You wait and see. It's it's going to be people are going to lose their minds. Oh, yeah. 
And they should blow all the Saints. The Saints are terrible. Right. But well, I, I, like Saints I said, the road. There, this game is so intriguing. It, it's like, like out of all the games, I know we talked a lot of, you know, a lot of shit about the Dolphins game is a big game or the, the, uh, not the Eagles game because we knew by then it was over. The but Buccaneers, the Buccaneers the game. game, right? We yeah. blew those games up, right? Yeah. This is another one. This is like the, okay, you're at 100 sound defense. Let's see you now. You got rid of the problem, right? Let's see you now. You cleared the air. You, uh, you're going to go 50-50 maybe with Jalen Warren. Let's see. Let's see how. Let's see what happens. Because if, if they if they do all this, oh baby. Yeah, I mean. It's shaping up to be like a Tomlin, <laughs> a Tomlin wet dream. Uh, I don't want to be. It's just <laughs> Tomlin wet dream. This is it. He can win with defense. He's got his quarterback, who's you know just Mister Move the Chains. Don't make mistakes. This is what he dreams about. <laughs> this is what he dreams about. This is his ideal world. My this is what world. I dream about. Yeah. I have a dream. I'm gonna have nightmares that these about that too. Pittsburgh Steelers. We'll roar back to be nine and eight. I can't even get excited about it. Oh, okay. Here you go. I got one for you. What if they go eight, eight, and one? What does that make them? Ten, ten and one? No, 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 no. I'm 10. saying what if they end this season eight, eight, and one? Oh, I mean, that's possible. <laughs> It'll be technically not a losing season. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's all, that's all we strive for, right? I, <sighs> I'm liking this. I'm I'm liking this eight eight and one. I, I want to dare I say I can feel it. I feel that's what's going to happen. <laughs> they're going to toss, and they're going to go eight eight and one. No, no chance. Yes, yeah. no chance. Yeah, no chance. I think the absolute ceiling is seven and two. It's more going to be like six and three. I think six and three yeah. gets them to what eight eight and nine. Sounds eight nine. Right. Yeah, sounds about right. Let's talk about Kenny Pickett for a minute. What do you think his ceiling is? How good at Kenny Pickett's best is he? Kirk Cousins? Is that who uh, Kenny Pickett is? Dan Marino. <laughs> oh my God! Probably well, we drafted him. I'm we didn't want to make. I'm we speechless. didn't want to make the same mistake. They made in the 80s that cost us <laughs> by not taking the guy from Pittsburgh. Anyways. No, I don't I think uh, it's because they yeah, they thought he's ready. He's a game manager. He's not gonna make a lot of mistakes. That ah, doesn't win Super Bowls, man. I I think they saw this kid's he's got that fire. Remember, they love his fire and all that stuff. He's he looked great, dude. You can't take away his season, Pitt. It was a hell of a season. Yeah. Uh yeah. so he is older, so he was he is the most ready quarterback. Uh so yeah. And, and listen, think about it. They aren't looking to rebuild, they're looking to yeah, reload. That's what scares and me. And if that's you get the me. most ready quarterback, the thought was, you know, okay, and then we got Trubisky, you know, maybe they got a diamond in the rough here. And then they got this stout top spending defense. So the theory was that, and they thought they had a sound plan and their plan went to shit. And in reality, yeah, their plan because, went to shit the moment TJ Watt got hurt. Yeah. That's what killed the season. That's yeah. what killed it. And there's no, there's no other way. And, and that, right. And then Trubisky being as bad as he was, and I'm going to fuck what everybody else says. That dude was bad. Yeah. And I, I don't, I don't care. He was I mean, bad. I, I might be sounding like I'm coming down on Kenny a little bit, but he's head and shoulders better than Mr. Risky. Right. There's no, no doubt matter, about that. And that's the thing. Even at his, what we've seen his worst, he still looks more capable and more yeah. comfortable and more confident. Trubisky looked like a scared little kid out there and, and, and didn't know what to do and was hesitant and scared to, to make mistakes. Pickett at least doesn't look that. So This is my worry with him, though. He's limited. Like Very. there's no, there's no room for error. This is um, Derek Carr, Kirk Cousins, and you see what happens to those teams. They're pretty good. They make the playoffs once in a while, but they never get over the the hump because for the, to win with that kind of quarterback, everything around them has to be perfect. The defense has to be great. 
You need great wide receivers. You need a great running back. You need to stay healthy, blah, 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 blah. And that never happens in the NFL. You know, it never happens. Once in a, once in a blue moon, you get an average quarterback who wins a Super Bowl. Like once every 10 years, somebody gets lucky. Trent, Trent Dilfer. Yes. So every, cause he has a great yeah. defense. He's got great running game, great coach, and he wins a Super Bowl. But he had to be a good manager and wins. That's yeah. It. it doesn't happen often though. That makes, like I said, your margin for error is like zero. But that was then. This is now. Now it's way different. It's all offensively, you know. And that's true. It's too. all an offensive. Yeah. It's an offensive driven game now. And you got to have a top quarterback if you're going to win. Period. Just, yeah, look at these quarterbacks Herbert, Burrow, Allen. It's just, it's a murderer's row. It's just. There's like seven, eight QBs in the AFC. It's like, oh, dude, this is rough. And they're all yeah. young. They're all young. Yeah. It's not like these guys are like heading past their prime. They're just hitting their prime. So, right. Yeah, I don't know, man. I think it's and gonna if we're be top a- top three pick. It's a different regime picking. That's Kevin Colbert's draft pick last year. This is Wido and Khan's yeah. draft pick. But that dream's you dead. imagine that dream's dead, dude. They're not gonna they're not gonna finish with three or four wins. It's it's not gonna happen. No, but I'm saying did- I'm saying the I'm playing the what if game. Yeah. What if they did have top three pick? This is technically not this is Wido and Khan's pick, that not Kevin Colbert's. They may feel like, hey, sorry, we don't feel Kenny Pickett's the guy. If if they if they play bad enough to be in the top three, then he's not the guy. Something went wrong. And awesome he's not the guy. They and they could they could theory go that route. You'd have serious questions about the coach and the quarterback. If this this team's got two wins now, if they only win two or one game the rest of this way with this schedule, this team's got big issues. This team's got big right. issues. And let, you know, TJ could get hurt. He might not be 100% healthy. And they've got their excuse again. But yeah, yeah look, look, looking do. at eight and nine, nine and eight, seven and 11 at the seven and 10 at the worst. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah. Waste of a season. They should have drafted a lineman and drafted a quarterback this year. My man Aaron Rodgers is going to be available. <laughs> you want him? Actually, I was, dude, it's crazy. I was looking at the salary cap for him. Green Bay couldn't trade him if they wanted to because his dead cap's no. like $100 million. Nobody's taking that contract on, the, and they're not going to want to lose the yeah, dead money. The dead there money's $100 million. No, they wouldn't be able to field the team without him. Yeah. They, dude. Unless they really want to just blow it up and start from scratch. They're, I'm sorry. They're, they're idiots. Like, who hands a 40-something-year-old man yeah, that kind of fucking contract? I mean, don't get me wrong. I know he was coming off an MVP season. I get it. But he's at the too, same yeah, time, yes. at 40 years old, he could drop off at the at the tip of that. Like, you can't do that. That's not smart. And, and look they, what happened. Yeah, and it cost him Devontae Adams. And the team's just not good. It's just not a good team. Imagine, <laughs> imagine picking a 40-year-old guy. Over Devonte Adams, yeah, like wow. I, I just, I just, I don't know. I have the words. I guess I'd rather be the Steelers and make a mistake on a draft pick than like the Packers and be buried for five years and a hundred million dollars. Oh my God, oh my God it's just decided to fall off a cliff. And, yeah, oh, quarterback's man. a tough position. Think of all the teams that made mistakes. The Broncos, giving Wilson all that money. Holy shit, they're buried. Yeah. The Cardinals giving Kyla Murray all that money. You think they wouldn't want yeah. that contract back? Holy mackerel. Some bad. They probably would have kept, they should have kept a he has to watch film in the contract. Yeah, they even took that out on top of I everything know. else. They gave in to pressure. Oh, that's not fair. You shouldn't do that to him. Really? I'm giving this motherfucker $100 million. I don't give a shit. If I don't think you're watching film enough, guess what? I'm putting it in your contract. I mean, you don't like it too fucking bad. Most don't players wouldn't accept it. He accepted it. He signed the right. contract. Exactly. So, you uh, be a responsible adult. And if you're, if you're going to sign the dotted line for a hundred million dollars or whatever it was, watch the goddamn film. Like, come on that, that crap with oh poor Kyle. Yeah. Get out of here. Quarterback's a tough position to, 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 um, that's what makes it so important. And, and to try to get the right guy. 
I don't think the Steelers have the right guy. I don't know when they're going to have the right guy now, but so so. Oh, so you're completely turned on Pickett. I'm not turned on Pickett, but I'm you just, just said whoa. You just said I don't think the Steelers have the guy. No, he's he's he's. I told you his ceiling's Derek Carr or um, Kirk Cousins. Oh, That's his ceiling. Man. That's who he is. He's never going to be better than that, Dave. He's never going to be better than that. Hit he doesn't have the arm talent. Be mad at you. <laughs> he doesn't have the arm talent. He doesn't have the athletic ability. So you're officially know. done with Kenny Pick. I'm not done. He's he can win. He, he's going to be nine and eight, ten and seven for his entire <laughs> career. So is that down? Yeah, I guess you could say that. I guess you could say that. I, it sounds like you're you. The words were um, um I mean, you said I'm done with him. I was done with him the they drafted. I knew he, he's. Oh, look at you going back to ceiling, that. His ceiling's not. This guy's not a top level quarterback. He's a good quarterback. <laughs> The same pit. This they're not playing. Um, they're not playing Army and Rutgers every week, man. This is not. They're not playing ACC schedule. This is NFL. This is sad. Kenny in the back already. <laughs> yeah. I'm... Let me just say, I'm offended <laughs> by you doing this. You right, stabbed so our kid Kenny in the back already. So you're on, you're in on him. You think he can be? He's a rookie. Let's give the kid. More time, please. He's no, he's there. no, <laughs> no, it's not gonna happen, dude. Oh, uh, we'll, we'll maybe I'm wrong. Wait, we'll see. I, I don't know. I'm already, like I said, I'd rather see him than Mitch, obviously, but this ain't gonna do it. He's not gonna. I see Josh Allen, I see Patrick Mahomes. <laughs> I see Justin Herbert. I know what a good quarterback. I know what a. I shouldn't say good. I, sh, I see. I know what an excellent quarterback is. Kenny Pickett's not that. We know it. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> and on I, that note, before I bury I myself am, any further, <laughs> <laughs> I am trying to exercise patience with the kid. He's been put in a really shitty situation. Oh no, doubt, let's, dude. No, doubt. let's just. I just want to wait a little longer. I, I just. I just want to give him the season. And see where he's at at the end. That's all. But if it was like, if Patrick Mahomes was here, you'd see the dude run around, make some flash plays. He'd throw some picks too, but we'd say, oh, there's something. Well, we're talking about elite. And I, I, don't, I agree. I don't think he's going to be elite. He's not in that elite level. No. If everything yeah. falls into place, yeah, he could probably win a Super Bowl. I mean, if the Eagles could win I, a Super I think, Bowl with I uh, think he, I think his ceiling is being a good enough quarterback to win a Super Bowl. He's just not an elite quarterback. That's all I think. I just don't think he's elite. He only wins a Super Bowl if everything falls into place. If Najee bangs his head and remembers how to be a good running back and TJ never gets hurt and, you know, Matt Canada gets lost on the way to the game, you know what I'm saying? Everything has to be perfect for the Super Bowl. Otherwise, it's not going to happen. But, hey, we can hang a couple more EFC North banners Hell yeah. Hell yeah. No, no losing <laughs> yeah, seasons. Yeah. Are you serious? They're going to stop putting those on in, in uh, Akrasher Stadium. Yeah. Uh, no losing seasons. Hang him banners up, baby. Let's do it. This losing streak's got me. It's got me down. <laughs> it's got me. Feisty I'm ready. I'm fired up. Let's fucking go. I'm ready, man, for the rest of the I season. I can't be happy the rest of the season. If they win, it's going to piss me off. If they lose, it's going to piss me off. So it's. I don't see myself being happy the rest of the season. This is going to be anger. For me, the season doesn't start till this Sunday. You know, this the is the new of, season. If they would have won one of these fucking games they blew. I know. It would be a totally different story because then they'd be right it in the would. mix. Yep. You know? Literally beat the Dolphins. Beat the Patriots. Beat the Dolphins. Beat the Patriots. The Jets. Like the when Jets, they're up 20 the to sake. 10 or whatever the fuck it was. Yeah. Like. I know. Don't get me wrong. I get it makes me angry too. But I've moved on from that. You need to move on from that. This is this is new. This is a reset. Like I've been talking about for six weeks. I told you for six weeks. It's a reset. Okay. Here we go. You said the reset was going to be against the Eagles, but <laughs> right. I was wrong. It's just two weeks later. Obviously, two weeks later. Okay. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I can see this defense dominating the second half of the season and. Like I said, six and two, and 
just missed the playoffs, but hey. Yep. All right. That'll that'll probably do it for us today. Um, we'll be back on Friday with a deeper dive with the Saints. We'll do our NFL picks and all that fun stuff. Until then, you can find me on Twitter at SteelerSag16. Follow the podcast on YouTube at Steeler Sanctuary. Email the show at D-A-V-E-R at SteelerSanctuary.com. Dave, give me your Twitter handle. Let's get out of here. You can find me on M underscore Corb on Twitter. All right. Have a good night, folks.